Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm going to talk about selling options, specifically selling put options on stocks, stocks you've already done the homework on, stocks you already like. So Snapchat is the example I'm going to use. Snapchat was $18. Recently, it's fallen down even below $9. I've done my homework. I'm comfortable owning Snapchat at 9 so I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to buy shares in dollar cost average, which means I'm going to accumulate a bigger and bigger position over time. My outlook is that Snapchat will grow and will become bigger. And so I'm willing to hold it five years at least. And who knows what it can become, but I'm interested. The other thing that is finally opening up is puts. So the seven strike put for 100 days and the eight but let's just use the seven put we're going to say it's worth 0 0.50 so what happens is i can sell the seven strike put and i'm going to collect 50 cents now you do it a hundred times because every one put option is a hundred shares. It's one lot. One lot is 100 shares. Someone will pay me because I will sell the put. Someone has to buy the put. Someone will pay me 50 cents times a hundred, which is 50 bucks to buy Snapchat at seven. Now we just said it's worth nine. So I already know it's worth more than seven. But they'll pay me to buy it at seven, which means my actual entry price would be six fifty. This is for a hundred days. <clears throat> I I am on the hook. I am protecting someone who's worried about Snapchat going below seven. Below seven, I think it's a bargain. That's my opinion. I've done my homework. That's my research. Because because I believe Snapchat below seven is a bargain, because I think it's going to. 90 in five years I want to own it below seven I do this trade because I did the homework snapchat right now is in a downtrend it doesn't look very bullish but because I'm a value investor I've done the homework so I don't need a rising trend I need a falling trend to give me a better deal I'm still buying shares at nine I like it at nine I like it at eight I love it at seven I love it even more at six five four because I've done the homework. So for 100 days, I'm on the hook. If it doesn't go to seven or if it just touches seven and then eventually takes off, I keep the 50 cents, 50 cents times 100, 50 bucks. I get paid 50 bucks as my income. The broker requires me to have a few hundred dollars in margin in case I have to buy the shares. If I have to buy a hundred shares at nine, but I have to buy them at seven, it's seven hundred dollars that I may need to have to buy these shares. So I need to be prepared to buy these shares at seven times a hundred, seven hundred. They'll pay me fifty, so my actual cash outlay is six fifty. And that's how you sell a put for income. I'm selling a put for income. I'm also buying the shares. That's two ways that I'm getting bullish on Snapchat because I did the homework. If you found this useful, let me know in the comments. Give me a like, follow if you don't, and give me another stock idea, and I'll, I'll do some strategy ideas using options and value investing.